Oh man, that's a, that's that's one of the personal favorites right here. Oh uh, mayhem. Uh, I would love mayhem, but I always hit myself with it at least once. <laughs> Oh, mayhem is no. so chaotic. It's so good, actually, though. That, In that's reality, crazy. it's. Y'all yeah, be using mayhem on like home and stuff. Yeah, mayhem. Uh, if you have a lot of bullets, reload speed is not a problem, and slightly lower damage is such a small damage decrease. It's actually god tier. I, it barely has any downfalls, unless you hit yourself. So I'm assuming, based off of what you said, you think mayhem is very good. Yes. No, no. I'm a, I was gonna put it in God tier. <laughs> okay, I, w I wasn't sure you would go with that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, no. Uh, I was basically saying it has very bad, very low downfalls at all. Hitting yourself is literally a skill issue, so I can't say that's I can't put that against the card itself. <laughs> so, honestly, Mayhem has so many good combos. It is God tier by itself. I don't think it's that good of a card, but you can make any combo with it. Uh, with the way some people play, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, now Parasite. <laughs> XD. That right there, in my opinion, is a bannable car, bro. Bannable? <laughs> no. It's too good. It, dude, by itself, it's god tier. Adding anything with it is bannable. <laughs> it's so powerful. Uh, Parasite is, is, is actually really good. It's too good. It's too good. It has, it's literally poison that heals you. It has no downfalls. That thing is five seconds the, the heal. Healing, the healing is weak though. Like I, I've been like out, like uh, out, like um, like I get hit by like, poison and I hit, hit somebody with parasite, and they like I still die to poison. No, but get this. Uh, par the way Parasite works is it's a free heal, but besides the heal, it's a free poison with more damage. It's, it gives you damage increase and it gives heal and it gives oh HP by the way it gives HP too, and it gives life steal and it's poison. That's like so many buffs with no downfalls I, I and it has amazing combos. I think there are cards way worse than uh, Parasite. Well, all right, we'll get to them later. Uh, for now, I'll put it in God tier, but who knows? <laughs> I might move it up. Uh, tank. Okay. Now here, here's the thing. No, I got something for tank. Now we can't see, we can't see the number on it, but I memorize it so well. It's actually eighty percent HP increase. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't it like eighty to one hundred percent HP? Yeah. Uh, tank is God tier. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about tank is that doesn't, doesn't it like increase your hitbox or is that like a different card? Nah, actually your oh. hitbox increases no matter what the more HP you have. Uh, the card named huge, it actually yeah, increases your size double the amount. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it increases your size double the amount, but only huge. In general, I, the more HP you have, the bigger you are. It, I, I just noticed that it, it's probably right, it's huge that increases your size. Yeah. Uh, that's why I would never put huge on the same tier as tank. Uh, it does give more HP, and I don't know if it has any downfalls besides your size, but still. The bigger you are, the worse it is. <laughs> and the slower you are. So uh, you, would, you would put huge in mid? No, I would actually put it in God tier because it's very good. It changes the table. It, it turns the table so well. If you're one shot, you're now three shot. I if you were two shot, you're pretty much four shot. Tank is so powerful. 80%. Let's say you have 200 HP. 80% is going to almost double that. And that is a big, big upgrade. And it has no downsides unless... You have really bad reload time. <laughs> True, reloading is important. Reloading is important, but usually it's not that big of a deal unless you already have a bad reload speed. You so, uh, surviving a lot of hits is a big deal because, well, if you have parasite, you can make up for it. <laughs> so, so what would you put tank? In very good. Got to. I'm putting it in God tier. Tank? Yeah, I, it, I told you, it, it, there has no downfalls. 
pretty much, and it changes the table around. Most of the time, I'm one shot, but once I see tank, I never one shot anymore. Hmm. I don't, I don't know about that one. You wouldn't put it in God tier. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Alongside Mayhem and Parasite? No. <laughs> yeah, bruh, it makes such a good combo with those two. Mm. Especially Parasite. Because I'm looking at the the debuffs, like the, the slightly lower attack speed is not a problem. But plus five seconds for reload time. So you're telling me. Uh, point you wouldn't pick those three because if you pick those three, you don't even need reload time anymore. Let's go. If you have Bet Mayhem and Parasite, you could easily end that match very quick. Oh yeah. So reload time is not a problem. <laughs> and with Tank, you could easily survive long enough for the reload time too. Thanks. I'll, I'll put it up there for now. I'll put it up there for now. Alright, I mean, just like I put Parasite and got you. <laughs> Parasite is got you. I mean, I'm not sh I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying. I, I, do, I think it should be a bannable tier. <laughs> With the amount of mods and stuff you play, Parasite is, is actually balanced. No, 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 we're taking the mods out of this one. This is just vanilla for now. No, that's the, that's the, that's the fun right you. there. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha instantly. I hate that card so much. I, I You've used it against me. Uh, it's, if, if I use it against you, you automatically lose. If you use it against me, I automatically lose. This card is broken. But, I'm putting it right behind Mayhem. Right behind Mayhem? Oh, you really, really hate this one. I, yes. <laughs> this card, dude, as soon as you get hit by this and you don't have a wall blocking your way, you're dead. Yeah, it's hard to peek against somebody using Thruster, but if you like someone have like platforms and stuff, you're actually kind of safe. Hold on. Oh, we have Demonic Pack. Alright, so that right there is Troll tier. Wait, it does Blast damage? Uh, technically, this is a very strong card, but. Unless you hit your target, or if you have lifesteal or a heal ability, this is literally a troll. You're hurting yourself each time you use this. So It is not percentage based. The only good way I see this working out is with tank. So demonic pack by itself is actually trolling, but if it was like pair up with something, it'd be like, okay. Yes, you can, if you have a very good lifesteal or a huge amount of HP, or uh something like uh parasite you could actually make this card work because by itself this card is very strong in damage if you pick this as your first card you can probably win the first few rounds without with this alone i don't i don't know about that one because you, you have 10 shots in that game <laughs> you start off with 100 health with this you actually two shot someone and like it says it's splash damage if you slightly miss you could just it literally, it's the same as hitting them. So with two shots, you can destroy anyone with this. Okay, so so purely because of the splash damage, I think it should be put to like meh. You don't think it should be in troll because you're hurting yourself with this, and unless you have good aim, which I do, but I still would not take this risk because I don't trust myself not getting hit. If you get hit once, is you might as well say GG. Oh, true. Sure, if you do get. Hit. Yeah, that's actually trolling. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you're good at aiming and blocking both, this is a great card for you. But if you have one of those things bad, like me, bad at blocking, I, I it's GG. <laughs> now, this card right here, man. Oh, drill. Now, um, I've used this myself, and honestly, I would put it in uh, very good behind careful planning very good it goes think about through it. walls there is a limit it does not go through all the walls and by the way this card by itself is actually not that powerful you need bullet speed without bullet speed this will go through the wall okay. and turn around and go back down okay. and you could actually hurt yourself with it fair enough by itself it is not it is not god tier or banned 
but when you, and and it cannot go through thick uh like parts of the map. Uh, be, yeah, because it has a limit of uh, how far it goes, and so this card by itself is not very good. If you have bullet speed, this is basically goes bullets. Which is a modded card, which is awesome. Oh my god, my head just started bannable. thinking about that. Auto automatically bannable, yep. <laughs> but, uh, you need a few cards to make this card good, and even with those, to be honest, Elders picked this card and I still beat him. Without a problem. He only yeah, beat me I... with this card one round. <laughs> I think he beat me using that card by like one round. Yeah, same. So, it's... Now, it could be Eldritch, but honestly, I don't want to say it's his fault. I don't. He, he put too much trust in this card, and this card is not as powerful as it seems. Oh, yeah. He, he, it, if, he did exactly what you do with a Scalibur. You, you sit on the other side of the wall and let the swords do all the work. Yeah, and uh, basically, you could say that's a good way of using it, but not really. You do need to make sure... You uh, try to shoot outside of the walls and then shoot inside of the walls. You need to like corner the enemy with this. But either way, this card is not is definitely not better than target balance, and I don't think it's better than careful planning. I, I just realized I've never used drill ammo or ghost bullets. I've used both, and I know which one is way better. <laughs> um, toxic clouds. I'm starting to see Great. some fun cards at the bottom of my screen. Yep, uh, Toxic, Toxic Cloud, Cloud is very is good. <laughs> yeah, either, I think Toxic Cloud might even be God tier. Uh, I wouldn't even argue with that, to be honest. Not I have I made a big con a comeback with Toxic Cloud against Ricky and his friend. <laughs> not only are you taking like poison damage, but it slows you down. I forget about that too, yeah. Uh, the only downside is... If he gets close to you and you use it, you're hurting yourself. You gotta yeah. keep your distance. This is really bad if your enemy has movement speed. Besides that, this is very good. So... Um, the self... I would say, yeah, by itself, you know, got to are very good. Nah, yeah, no, it's got to for sure. It, it's honestly by itself, it, it's a huge damage. Upgrade. This might even be better than Parasite. I don't know. Parasite gives damage HP. You Parasite put Thruster in front you of Parasite. I did put Thruster in front of Parasite. Thruster alone is a big, huge, like, bruh, you could win with Thruster alone. I'm, I'm just yeah, saying, I can win with Thruster alone. <laughs> Parasite, I mean, as good as it is, to be fair, if you don't get anything and you have Parasite the whole game, you could still lose easily. So you think Toxic Cloud is between Parasite and Tank or behind Tank? Uh, I'll put it in front of Tank. Tank deserves to be on God tier, but it has its limits. Because God tier, I mean, every card in God tier is good by itself, but tank by itself is not going to get you anywhere. Dude, I'm really starting to see some good cards now. I can't wait to get to these. Oh my god. Alright, yeah. Right. Now, Frost Slam, one of my favorite cards ever, honestly. Yeah. I automatically pick this when I see it. Yeah, Frost Slam <laughs> is very good. I am the. I, I usually just go for crowd control a lot because I am so good at destroying you guys when I have it. Yeah, when you, when you so, can't move, it's, a, it's an easy game. Like thrust Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta put this in... Ah, oh, dude. It, it gotta be got here. Uh, I don't know about that one. This... I, I, bro, this is honestly better than Toxic Cloud. Just think about it. As soon as you use this, they're frozen, just... Shoot them as much as you can. It's oh, it's it's a GG. Honestly, as soon but as you're stunned with this, it's a GG. You have you have to like use your block to activate this. And when you yeah. when you like freeze the other person, they can just block like all the projectiles you're trying to spell. That's true. But what if you think about it? What if you try to trigger their block before you use it? If you trigger uh, you... if you trigger their block and then use false slam, and then it'll be like a like a five head player. 
Yeah, I honestly I get you to use your vlog a lot, but without even shooting you because you think I'm about to shoot you, but I want to make sure I get close to use this. But I also don't see you with false slam often. Because I don't get it often. Dang it. I mean, we've been playing mod and I actually did take out the vanilla guards, so that's probably why. But if I see this, I always pick it, unless I see a better crowd control. Vanilla is so good, though. Well, I actually did it because I, I wanted to play with Elvish with just mod cards. It, it, I'm just trying out new things. But. Don't worry, I'll add it back. <laughs> so yeah, uh, honestly, I do believe this is a uh, better than Toxic Cloud. I, I would put it between okay, Toxic so you Cloud. Okay, so this is God tier. Yes. Now you don't use it often, but I do. So <laughs> I don't think this is. Uh, I think this is at least behind Toxic Cloud. Dude. Okay, fine. Toxic Cloud is very fucking powerful, and you don't. Sorry, uh, you don't that, need to. That's better slow than full slow. Is it actually? I I didn't even try to compare them. Uh, I yes. I was I was gonna say, Toxic Cloud you don't have to get close, but this you do. I faced you with Toxic Cloud and freaking mayhem. I think I literally can't even approach you. <laughs> well, that's, that's different. It's a combo, but I okay, fine. I I never uh, I, I use Frostland more than Toxic Cloud, and I don't think of Toxic Cloud as a slowness. I think of it as an actual poison. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. But even if you block the Toxic Cloud bullet, it still like puts a cloud there. I don't know. I I think you're wrong because I'm pretty sure uh, it'll it'll just follow the bullet wherever the bullet lands is where it's gonna land. Okay, I might be wrong there then. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But hey, we could always try uh, try that. I mean, I do want to make a combo with uh, demonic pact, so <laughs> we'll do it eventually. Abyssal countdown. All right, now here here's the thing. You started on that, dude. This That's... right here honestly deserves to be on the banner. <laughs> I only use this as a block. I didn't try to make a combo, but if I did, you you win the you win automatically. I mean, seriously, you don't even need to stand still. If you jump, it actually doesn't. Uh, it, it actually doesn't. No, it uh, stop the countdown. No, it does. It does. The, I I, yeah. I thought there was a way where you, you can not make it do that, or maybe if you have this with teleport or uh, well, char uh, well, it was a charge thingy, that a shield ability that teleports you or moves you, mobility shield. You it actually does not uh, stop the count. I have, so I don't I don't know about that then, but I know uh, you, I, you I did have like. Out. You have infinite block. Yeah, so if you have this with, let's say, Frost Slam or, I don't know, a, a damaging uh, shield ability, you can actually just win. Overpower, yes. Or Empower. Oh my god, if you have this with Empower. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bannable card. For Not sure. only is this card good by itself, but it's very good with other cards. Yeah, it actually. There's no way for you to die as as long as this is active. It's a perma block, so yeah, it's bannable. Cause, Cause you still gotta hit your shots. I mean, that, that's not an issue I have. Yeah. Uh, that's just me though. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you know I have that issue. Uh, I think Elders does though. I. <laughs> bro, Elders, bro. Hold on, let me take that shot. I actually need to place that one. Elders literally can't win games unless he's using like some absurd like giant bullet flying across the freaking screen. Yeah, he only ever uses shotguns. Uh, like the only time I ever lose to him is if he uses a shotgun or gets a lucky shot Shoot. with uh, to uh, poison or uses some um, like explosive stuff. Like, bruh, he yeah, never that's... actually aims the bullet. <laughs> What do we, every, every time I think about El, playing Eldritch in rounds, I just think about him with these like annoyingly obnoxious like huge bullets flying across the screen. Yeah, I, I need to show you a clip. The video that I had where I beat him, there there was a moment, it was a, such a long round, like five to ten minute round. Me, uh, but he's, him just chasing me out like a Tom and Jerry. He's so fast, I could never hit him, but I, I'm not fast at all, but I'm dodging all his shots. He barely hit me. And I actually beat him at the end, even though he was so small and fast. 
Yeah. Oh, and by the way, he had heal too. Only oh, yeah, this man. Only oh, yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, it was it was such an annoying round. Uh, that's why I had to cheese him at the end. He, I just couldn't hit him. He's so small and fast. Oh, but, that damn when you use ram on him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Actually, that wasn't ram. That was different. That was I think it was after the ram. All right, decay. So that's a troll. Worse than demonic impact. There's nothing you can do to make decay work. Nothing. I literally. I literally told Elodis when he first started playing this game not to pick this card, and he still picked it. He probably thought he you were telling him do not pick it because it's OP. <laughs> like, like Elodis is so bad at like staying on the map that whenever he like fall, Elodis, the game would just be over because the K would finish him off. Yeah, I actually never seen. I think I only seen him one time ever successfully use the block to jump up out of the map. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, DK is honestly the worst card I've ever seen. <laughs> There's That's nothing fun. to make this card work. The Mind Impact has has it has uh, potential, but DK has nothing. <laughs> yeah, DK, like DK doesn't even have a life still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like what's the and uh, it doesn't say, so I'm really not sure if it does percentage based. But it's it's literally you you giving yourself poison. So why? <laughs> I think it's the it's the damage yeah. you would take in an instant, but dealt over time. Wait a minute. Is that actually how it works? Yeah. Wait. Then that's a good card. I thought it does additional damage over time. No, it 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 just does the damage. I think it does the damage you would normally take for over time. Then this is a good card. Hmm. If, we need to test it. I'm keeping it in troll because it still technically doesn't If you think it is still a good card, then I think it should be moved up to okay at least. Yeah, because if... Let's say I'm, you, you would usually one tap me with a power. I would have four seconds to make a comeback. Or if you compare, if you combine this with a life steal like Parasite, I'm usually one shot. But then I can actually out heal it. Yeah, I'm gonna put this at like the end of okay or meh. Mm, I'm yeah, I'm putting it in meh because I'm yeah. I'm not even sure. This is a this is a, a theory. I'm not sure, but I'll just put it in meh because it's still uh, only four seconds. It's still not that huge. So, no. I'll, I'll put it in front of Barrage, how about that? You said in front of Barrage? Yeah. I mean, if you take multiple hits while having Decay, you are still, like, done. Yeah. But what if you don't? What if you only take one hit? This is only good if you, if you usually get one shot. So let's say you're a sniper. This is gonna be very useful. But if you're someone like Eldritch who has uh, like 10 shot, 10 explosive map destroying shots, this is absolutely <laughs> useless. 10 explosive map destroying shots, that's one way of playing it. Yes, uh, so... You know what, actually I'll put it at the very back of meh. It's, it's not you. troll, it's not troll, but it's something. It's, it's much better than Demonic Impact. If you take it, this as your first card, it's not a troll. It's a weird pick compared to the other four choices that you can potentially get. That's true, but it's not a troll. <laughs> as long as it's not a troll, we're not putting it down there. Hmm. Uh, Echo, uh, that is... God tier. Ah, no, 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 no. It's very good, but it's not God tier. I can never put this above target balance. What? This is only useful if you're using shield abilities. Uh, because I think you're getting this mixed up. This does not have mobility. This is not the one that makes you move uh, forward with another block ability. This only triggers the block. Oh, you're twice right, you're right. I'm thinking about shield charge. Yeah, this is very good, but it's useless on its own. <laughs> so okay. I am actually putting this behind Defender. Behind Defender? Two blocks? Again. Again, again, again. Think about it. Defender has 
two, uh, I mean, it has uh, it lowers block cooldown, so it's actually much better than Echo if you're trying to use in power. Echo is useless if you're trying to use in power. I don't know about that one, Chief. You can only use in power once, unless you shoot it really fast and you're not aiming at that point. <laughs> It's, look, there are very few cards that lower block cooldown, and Echo actually increases it. <laughs> you, uh, Echo is nothing compared to uh, Shield Charge, so... What can you really use with uh, Echo I, unless you have a good Shield uh, ability? I'm leaving it in front of Defender. I'm choosing two blocks over block cooldown. Two block, bruh. I don't know. <laughs> You're giving it too much credit. I don't know, man. I will most definitely put Echo. I mean, not Echo. Uh, Shield Charge in front of Chase. But Echo is it's, it's not going in front of Defender. No, nah, Echo. Bro. I think Echo is in front of, uh, uh, behind Chase, but in front of Defender. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the, they, they both have their own pros and cons, but I feel like Defender has more pros than cons. <laughs> It actually has no cons. <laughs> yeah, this is. Mm. Uh, put it behind Defender for now. We might change it. <laughs> uh, Empower. One of my favorite cards ever. So I'm putting this in God tier. <laughs> Empower in God tier. Uh, not being biased, but it's actually. It one shots you pretty much. <laughs> it does do and massive it, damage. Not only does it do massive damage, but let's say you have negative 1,000 bullet speed. This puts you at max bullet speed. This actually has no limit in terms of bullet speed. Oh, hold on. Let me read this. Yeah. Um, does it actually say that? Like, uh, I used it myself. That's how I know. Yeah. Uh, increases the damage and speed. Yeah. Of your next shot. It's only one shot, but Wait, this, this was something like... This card is actually open. really good. What the heck? Uh, I've used it many times against you. How do you not remember? I <laughs> know oh, it, it also triggers. I forgot that it triggers block abilities on land. Oh, I actually forgot that too. Yes. Okay. So this is basically like echo, but it's a lot slower. It's like your next shot. So you could use the shield to trigger a power and hear me out. If you wait it out for the next shield ability, you're basically shooting it to trigger a block and then activate your block again for another power for and then shoot it for another block. You can right. have three blocks. Wouldn't empower be like better than careful planning? Maybe even oh, I'm putting this on God tier. It's not gonna be a very good. <laughs> We're talking like by itself. Like you don't have oh, yeah. any extra shield abilities. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think this technically doubles your damage. It doesn't really say, but yes, this can one-shot anyone early on if you land it. No, I, I think they would have just... I would hope they would just put double damage instead of increasing. Uh, well... We could just test it out next time we try it, but I'm pretty sure it's at least double the damage. This does so much damage, you literally one-shot anyone early on. Hold on, let me see something. Um, it, but yeah, the best part about it is also the side is like it gives you maximum bullet speed. So not only does it do all that damage, but there's no way you can miss unless there are walls. All right. Um. Anyways, yeah. where do you want to put in power? Uh, regardless of the damage. It has to be in God tier. I mean, it's increased damage and a bunch of blocks. You can have up to three blocks and it's max bullet speed. So it's going in front of. You know what? It's going in front of. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. It's be... for the parasite or not. Nah. It's either in front of parasite or behind parasite, but I'm really not sure. I don't think Empower will one shot a Parasite user. Um. Well, if Parasite is their only HP increase, it would. Mm. But. Hmm. Right, right, right now, Empower only increases attack speed and damage. And it triggers a bunch of blocks, too. Before. You don't have any block abilities. We're talking okay, first if card it's, only. If it's just the two of them, yes. 
I, I actually I don't know how much how much HP it gives though. That's actually a good question. Not a lot. If it did, it would say like a lot more HP or something. Well, then it has. Yeah, it has to one shot the parasite. I mean, let's say it does double the damage. Okay, you start off with fifty damage, but you do have hundred HP. Okay, never mind. It would not one shot parasite. Surely it gives at least 30% HP, so you would technically have 130, and this would only do 100 damage, basically. So I don't, I don't think it would do any more than double the damage, if it even does double the damage. I, I think if Empower did double damage, I don't even think it would have like a white name. But it's just a, a, a it's just guesswork so let's say it does double the damage i don't think it would surpass that otherwise it'd be too broken of a card if it even does double the damage like i'm not actually sure i'm not saying it does but there's no way it would do more than that but like i said we will test it and we'll find out but i know it does a lot of damage <laughs> uh, now combine where did you put it? Where did you put it in power? Oh, I put it behind Parasite because it would not one-shot Parasite. Alright. Uh, homing, got here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Actually better than... Um, hmm. It's not better than Thruster though. I can't say it's better than Thruster. You have a better chance of hitting homing than Thruster though. Well, actually, you don't, have, have, you don't have balance on homing, so... In, ter in terms of in terms of my play style, I actually have a better chance of winning with thruster than homing. But you're right, I probably have a better chance of landing the hit with homing. Since uh, you have no like no balance homing, we're talking no balance homing. Balance it's, homing it's, is almost a, almost an automatic W. Yeah, lower damage, lower attack speed, lower reload speed. Honestly, it it is really good, but. Actually, I think homing should go like behind target balance and very good. Wait, you think it's very good? Hmm. No, like not only like you you lose you, you don't have balance, so you lose That's damage, true. you lose attack speed, you lose Leo speed. Okay, you actually make a very good point. Yeah, it's not better than target balance. Yeah, it's but not it's better than target balance. balance. If, if anything, we should do target balance into God tier because target balance at least has one balance. You know what? The more I look at it, I actually want to move Target Bounce up to God Tier. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, some of these cards are actually not better than Target Bounce. Target Bounce is a, almost a guaranteed win. Actually, Homie shouldn't is... even be in front of... Homie shouldn't even be in front of Bouncy, Drill, Elmo Eater. Nah, 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 nah. That's too far. Bouncy with no Homie is just two bounces, and most of the time you will miss because you can't actually control the bounces. There are only a few bounces that you can control, and those are the corners. But if you're shooting it straight up on the ground, hoping that it would land, you're not really hitting the target. You're just hoping for the best. So you, you would choose homing over bouncy and drill ammo. Yes, I would choose a lot of things over drill. Uh, yeah, that's honest. actually wild. I would choose homing over bouncy because I'm. I mean, I'm just not a. I'm not a big bounce guy. I would pick a I'd pick it most of the time. But if I see homing, I'd actually try to land my shots because I have a better chance of landing my shots personally instead of using a bounce. Homing is if more I bounce, I, I have a better bounce. chance of actually hitting the target with homing. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should switch. I think we should swap bouncy and drill ammo. Wait, you think bouncy is worse than drill ammo? Yes. Because it goes what? to walls. Okay, hold on. What? Dude, nah, nah, you're, you're playing. <laughs> no way. Dead for <laughs> us. Hold on. Like, very, right, very right. good. Explain, it should be. Okay. Uh, it, should, it should start okay, off okay. with target bounce, drill ammo, homing, and then bouncy, and then how about like, whatever's left. Okay, let's, let's hold off for now. Okay, hold on. First of all, let's move target bounce. Behind thruster, I actually I, I, I underestimated. Yeah, I, I underestimated the target bouncy. Yeah, I underestimated target bouncy. I'll be honest, I think target bounce is actually so fucking so good. <laughs> uh, homing is now gonna be the very front, very good. But 
Now make your case. Why do you think Bouncy is better than Drill Ammo? I mean, sorry. Why do you think Drill Ammo is better than Bouncy? It's, it's like you said. It, it's it's more reliable than relying on like random bounces. Mm, but. Mm. And it goes to walls. Now I'm gonna explain to you why I think it's worse. Bouncy, you actually are trying to hit your target, and if you miss. It will bounce and hopefully hit him. But drill ammo. If you try to, if you, in, if you try to intentionally go through the wall, most of the time, it's not like goes away. It's actually worse because it, it slows down the bullet speed when it goes through the wall. Mm, because you don't have bullet speed. That. If you have bullet speed, it's actually broken. But if you don't by itself, it's way worse than bouncing. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, it slows down the bullet, and a lot of times it'll just. It'll it'll just go floppy and you know go soft and go. Down, you know what, I mean? <laughs> what? What is this word? <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just going soft. You know, all right now let's keep PG now. <laughs> all right, all right. So homing bouncy drama. Yes, homing bouncy. Wait, wait, hold on. You think drill is better than careful planning? That's it. You didn't have it. You didn't have it. Um. In front of careful planning? No, because careful planning is, I mean, it one shots early on. Drill ammo. What is again, you have drill ammo? I, I have drill ammo behind brawler. Okay, I'm, actually, I'm gonna say my list. I have homing, bouncy, careful planning, and then combine, and then chase, defender, echo, brawler, and then drill ammo. Okay. You are getting I, drill ammo too late. I have You're the same list, but I have, I have Echo and Defender. Yeah, I'm thinking about both Ghost Bulls. I have the same yeah. list now, but I have Echo and Defender swapped. I, I just I just don't know there. All right. We're just going to let you guys know that's the only thing we have different. Just those two switched. Yeah, I, I, that, that's a tough one. I, I genuinely yeah. think Echo is better. Like, genuinely. I genuinely think Defender is better, but... <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll test out a few things after this. We definitely need to test out in power, but yeah. Um, well, we, it's just those. Everything else is the same. All oh, right. Now uh, moving on to silence. Uh, so from my understanding, silence, it doesn't stop your uh, shooting. It's actually huh. useless in terms Doesn't of not. shooting. I no, it, it actually stops you. Uh, no, dazzle stops you from shooting pretty much, but. Silence stops you from using block. Sure. Um, I'll look it up again. I only used it once because I I think I used it against. I think it was you actually. I think I used it against yeah, you. I, you I think shot, I couldn't you shoot back. It. Let me let me double check. Uh, silence blocking. Uh, blocking. Oh wait, no, it literally doesn't say. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, I feel like we should try it out. There's a lot of stuff we need to test out, to be honest. We really need to test out a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let me try searching it. Browns. Yeah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this stops you from shooting. Stop from shooting? Because I know Dazzle stops you from literally everything. Like, you you can't do anything when you're, when you're Dazzled. Uh, oh, yeah, so it's both. It stops you from blocking and shooting. Okay. I guess the so, difference is you can so still. So this is move. literally this is better than radar. <laughs> Wait, that is better than radar. But you can still move. Mm, that is you better can, than radar. You can though. still move, but radar is literally yeah. yeah. You can't deflect the bullet then. This is yeah. what I need to use against you because you're like the best blocker I've ever has seen, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to put this at the very top. It's, that's it. It's got here. It's number one got here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I honestly did not think anything was better than radar. I, I remember it, getting is... clouds by silence. I, dude. Wow. I really thought you can fight back when I silence you. That's why I never pick it. Alright, big bullet. Uh, the last card is big bullet. Wow, the very uh, last one. One of the best cards too, actually, in my opinion. This is gonna have to be in very good, probably in front of bounce. In front of bounce. 
This is a very good card. A fun and bouncy? Do... Yes, yes. Because technically, what it does is... First of all, it eats through any bullet. Unless you also have big bullet. It actually eats through any bullet. That's true. And then this it should, has this bigger hitbox. This should automatically go in front of homing too. Really? Hey, because it eats the bullet, homing won't matter. That's true. It eats the bullet. This, yeah. Actually, this is what we got here. <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't disagree. I think uh, I think this is because it eats bullets. Should go in front of Trickster and Mayhem. Okay, nah, no, 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 nah, that's too far. I don't think it should deserve that. That's much. too far. Yes, uh, bounce is not something you can just react to fast enough. No, I did put it for the bouncy because it's only two bounces and it's not really that huge damage. So I, I believe I would beat you if you use bounce when I'm using big bullet. But I think it should be right behind Mayhem. It, either way. Okay, you said right behind Mayhem? Yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, either way, it should be like God 2 or very good. Yeah, I didn't want to give it too much credit, but it does increase the hitbox. So, normally the bullet could go right over your head and give you a haircut. But the big bullet would actually just hit you. I didn't know, I was wondering what freaking bullet it was destroying my bullet. But now I know, freaking big bullet, that's so annoying. Yeah, I, every time I see Big Bullet, I always pick it because I know I can eat your bullets and I have a, I literally give you a bigger hitbox pretty much. So the only bad thing with Big Bullet is if you actually add bounce to Big Bullet because you could easily hit yourself with that. Even if you try to dodge it, it's so easy to get hit with a Big Bullet. What makes it interesting is how huge the bullet can get. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if you get multiple big bullets, it does increase the size even more. But we have a rule not to pick the same card. So now that we have seen everything, I'm actually going to zoom out back a little bit to uh, 125. Oh, I think that. Oh, that's why. Wait. Wait, let me click. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, uh, 110%, no, I still can't see all of it. I wanted to see all of it, uh, let's just do 100. Do everyone has seen, everyone has already seen or... what the images look like, and uh, they read everything. Uh, actually, I'll zoom it in even further, yeah. 125, looks good. This is the list, we have only two banned cards. Only two, I really thought it'd be more. Me too, actually. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I, maybe I did give Parasite too much credit. I realize yeah, now the there's a lot better than Parasite. Parasite is weak. Parasite is weaker than Poison. I still believe it's stronger than Poison. I mean, maybe in terms of damage, it's weaker. May maybe but because it, it was still as health. But I I'm telling you, if I shoot you with Parasite and you shoot me with Poison, you will kill me. Uh, e well, either way. I don't know, it's debatable, but yeah. I, I feel like we should test it, but at the same time, would you rather have lifesteal or lose one bullet for a small amount of damage increase? Oh, I bet right. you it's not even that much. Lifesteal is broken. Yeah, and it's not even that much of a damage increase. I'm telling you, it's probably not that much of a damage increase. Oh, no, yeah, Parasite, and that's probably what it is. Like, I had, I had Parasite, but not a lot of damage, and Eldritch had more damage to me, so that's probably why he killed me with Poison. Yeah, um, bullet damage really matters in the end. Poison and all the, it, it basically, it's like landing one extra shot, that's it. So, if you, if you can kill him with three shots, you just need to land two shots, that's it. I thought we would have more cards than the gods here, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we have less. <laughs> oh, uh, it, it, it still took like an interesting turn. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting the tier list to look like this. We have too many and very good, but turns out it's because they're actually not that good on their own. Uh, the God tier is just amazing cards that work right away as soon as you pick it. But very good. They need combos to actually work. Yeah. 
so, it's, it's, it's amazing you... how like some cards can literally change the outcome of the game of course yeah but yeah so i believe everything we have on this list is exactly the same as each other besides the defender and echo yeah defender Either and echo is a, is a tough argument but they, they're both yeah. in the same tier so it's like and they're not that far from each other it's literally just switch each other yeah. from yeah <laughs> Either way, they both have somewhat the same effect. They both improve of how often you can use your block ability. That's about it. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> that was fun.